Hola, hola, probando audio. Hola, hola. Hello, me oyen, compañeros. No he comenzado todavía la reunión, que no digo nada. Ah, hello, todavía no. Ah, perfecto, perfecto, gracias. Gracias. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, sir. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, I can. Welcome. Nice. Thank you for being on time. I appreciate it. Just let me see right here. We have a couple of messages. My goodness. So let's see. We are hello, hello. 16. Hello, Freddy. Welcome. Nice. Thanks so much teacher thank you freddy nice let's see let's see let's see my goodness so uh we have a message right here right from the from the admins people. Just give me one moment, please. Okay, so let's start. Sorry, I'm having an issue right here with the um, audio, but it's okay. Let me mute right here because I have some messages and some of them are from um, people from the class, but anyway. Okay, so let's start. Thank you uh, for your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. Um, let's start. Let's see, we are 19. My goodness, nadie más entró. Dios santo, se les pegó la colcha. Pero bueno, so let's start. So Juan Jose. Juan Jose, how are you? How you feel? Nice. Nice. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. That's a nice, nice expression, right? Okay. Nice, Juan Jose. Jocelyn Tatiana, nice to see you. Jocelyn Tatiana, so how are you today? Hi, uh, a little bad. Uh, I have a flu. Oh, really? Yes. You have a flu. Yes. Okay, okay. So, well, try to rest if you have the time and the opportunity and drink, you know, some bills or something, right? Um, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see. Freddy, my goodness, you have a nice background. You are like in an official TV. <laughs> Thanks, I, I, like, I like watching television. <laughs> okay, you are on the TV, but that is, that is an old-fashioned TV, right? Los que teníamos uh, antes. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. How do you say incapacitado? <laughs> so you are, you are incapacitado. So how do you say incapacitado? Yes. Uh -huh. I have the flu. 
Okay, in so in and how, ma how many dates you have for incapacity? So that would be, right, incapacidad? Incapacidad. Mm -hmm. incapacidad. How many dates did you get? Uh, two days. <laughs> two days, two day okay, but tomorrow. it's good. Well, uh, nah. yeah, right, today is Thursday. So today and tomorrow, do you work on Saturday? I, I say uh, I need to study English. <laughs> ah, okay. So, pero no le dijo eso al doctor, right? No, you, no. you say, I really sick, I'm not able to work. <laughs> okay, but you need to uh, be in the class, right? So but, that's but, nice. But, but do too. <laughs> okay, uh -huh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Nice, okay, but do you work on Saturdays? Uh, no, I, I don't work Saturday. Ah, okay, so amazing. Mm -hmm. that, that means that uh, imagine you will have day off today, tomorrow, and the whole weekend, right? So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, nice. So let's see, uh, Mauricio, Jorge, Mauricio, what about you? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Um, okay. Como digo, ha sido un día productivo. It was, okay, it was past, right? It was a productive or a you know, successful day. Ah, uh, yeah is a productive day. It was, okay? It is, si usted me quiere decir es, es un día productivo, so present, right? It is, but in this case, it was in pasado, right? It was a very productive or successful, amazing day. Yeah, I practice with my instruments all day. Okay, so what kind of instrument do you play? I play uh, oboe and saxophone. Oh, really? The saxophone? Yes. Oh, really? So, and uh, you are a good uh, musician in this case. It is a musician, right? Yes. I. Desenvolverse como. ¿Cómo sería? So, develop, or, but you want to say that you are good at playing or playing the instrument, right? Yeah, I play, okay. I play the instrument. Uh, the saxo. The hand, the, in the jazz. The jazz, that, that is like your favorite music. Yeah my favorite music and classical music with my oh, oh boy. Okay, okay. So you say that you play the saxon and which is the other instrument? Uh, only, only this. Uh, my saxophone and oh boy. Okay, so can you play the guitar? No, I Not play. Really. I I play the the piano. Ah, oh, really? Is pero es poco. Es poco lo que conozco de piano. Okay, okay. So your specialty is the saxo. So last day of classes, please prepare your saxo. Okay. So no va a deleitar Mauricio para que lloremos el último día de la despedida. Ok. Ok, nice. I really like saxon. I don't know why, but I enjoy listening to saxon music. It's really relaxing. It's really romantic. I don't know. I like it. Ok. Yeah. So, Mauricio, prepare ahí. Oh, la... Le recomiendo que escuche Kenny G. Which one? Le recomiendo que escuche Kenny G. Kenny G, okay. Is a okay. saxophonist better and uh, play the soft music? Okay, well, 
So we will, we will see, okay? Ahí me manda el, el nombre para que no se me olvide. Y what? So, you know, we have artist people in the, in the group, okay? So, yeah. ahí está Kenny G. Good, this is Carlos Adolfo. Okay. Sí. Nice. Thank you, Carlos Adolfo as well. So, let's pass the attendance, okay? So, let me move on right here. La asistencia, ya pasaron los 10 minutos. So, let's see, ¿dónde está esta cuestión acá? Okay. Let's see, like always, please uh, let me know if you are here. Today is um, Thursday, right? Thursday the 10th, okay? So let's see, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Nice, Briseida Janet. Present. Nice, Carlos Satofu. I'm here, miss. Nice, um, let's see. Um, Claudia Yeseni. Present. Nice. Daniela Mercedes. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Emanuel, Emanuel Efraín. Hoy no lo he visto, Efraín. Ahí está. Nice, Emanuel Efraín. Ya decía yo que no lo había mirado. Nice. Uh, let's see, Evelyn. Evelyn Janet. Present. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria. No. Um, Freddy Alberto. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Freddy. Uh, Glenda Lisette. Glenda, Glenda, no. Um, Iliana Mariel. Present teacher. Nice, Miss Janessi Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Miss. Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson Alexander. No. Eh, Jorge Mauricio. I'm here. Nice. Um, Jocelyn Tatiana. Come here. Nice. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Nice. Kevin Ariel. Kevin Ariel. No, Kevin no viene. Um, Luis Miguel, it's there. Ya lo vimos a Luis Miguel. Coach. Nice. Coach. Yeah, Luis Miguel, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Glenda Lisette wrote in the chat. Glenda Lisette. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice. Uh, let's see, then we have um, Rachel there. Present teacher. Nice, miss. We missed you yesterday, Rachel. Let's see, Rebecca Paola. Rebeca Paola, no. Eh, Ronald Rafael. Present nice. Roxana Marisol. Present nice. eh, Sandra Noemi. Sandra, Sandra. No. Eh, en Sara Verónica, que no. Okay, so we are going to validate the attendance uh, one more time at the end. So let me um, share the screen right here. And yeah, we have the chat right here. Okay. Let's see, let me... Okay. Yes, let me see right here. So um, let's continue, right? So remember that the manual, it's the, the activity, right? That we need to follow, definitely. This is um, 
similar to your exercise, right? The ones that you are doing on the platform. So this is the manual. This is what we have to um, follow, right? So it says right here that we have a grammar focus, a grammar part that says preferences, comparisons, uh, with adjectives, okay? So what is an adjective? Carlos Adolfo, did you remember what is an adjective? Uh -huh. Hola, hola, Carlos Adolfo, sorry, Carlos. I remember we used the, um, the um, Adjective, the confirmation of uh, the prefer. For example, the, the jacket materials and uh, if any, any products have a price cheap or expensive, um, more or less. Okay, okay, so nice. So remember that that is a um, description, right? Uh, Luis Miguel, go ahead, please. I used to tell that word, the adjective is a word that describes the noun. Perfect, when you were like in third grade, right? Allá en tercer grado le tuvieron que haber enseñado usted. El adjetivo es la palabra que describe al nombre, right? So that's the simple uh, definition that we know, right? The but same story. Different. <laughs> yeah, of course, because of the language, but it, the, 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 the meaning is exactly the same, right? An, an adjective in English is a word yeah. that describes the noun, right? El nombre. <clears throat> so in this case, so we have adjectives right here. So adjectives are like pretty, nice. So those are the adjectives, right? So words that we are going to use together with something else and we'll give you a detail, right? Like a description. But in this case, what it's uh, telling us right here is preference, right? Comparisons, okay? So we have comparatives and superlatives right here. Uh, we have just the comparatives, okay? But um, normally when we see the topic about comparatives, comparatives, we also see the, the, the superlatives, right? So the superlatives are similar topics, okay? Pero aquí el manual lo pone separado, okay? So los comparativos, okay? Let's read the, the examples that we have. Let's see. Um, Claudia Yesenia, please help us uh, reading the one question and also uh, the answer, please. Okay. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Okay. That one is a cheaper than the, I'm sorry, I prefer the leader one, okay? So this is a question, right? Aquí estamos hablando de preference, okay? So prefer, right? Ya dijimos prefer, okay? Uh, the next one, let's see, Emanuel Efraín. Mm -hmm. Emanuel Efraín, the next one right here. I'm sorry. Which one do you like better more? I like the letter one better more. Okay, which one do you like better or which one do you like the more? Oh, I like the little one better or I like the, um, or I like the little one, one more. more, okay? So that's the idea. I'm going to yeah. share, go ahead. Uh, que significa leader? Leader. Aha, uh -huh. did you remember? Ayer lo, lo mencionamos, right? Did you remember? Cuero. Alguien? Cuero. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. There you go. So okay, that is you. the material, right? Yesterday we were, um, okay. we were like talking about kind of materials, right? So I'm sharing right here in the, 
in the WhatsApp comparatives and superlatives, okay? So we are not seeing exactly all the comparatives. Well, we have comparatives here, but we are not seeing superlatives, right? Porque aquí el manual los separa, los más adelante aparecen, pero eh, you know that the topic in general is comparatives and superlatives, right? So comparatives are one when we say uh, we are comparing two teams, right? Two objects, two persons. So we have two options, okay? The superlative is when it, this is the mass, right? This is the, the bigger one, okay? This is the 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 best of the best right so when that's when we are going to use the superlatives what is important for you to know about this is the rules right here we have spelling okay this is spelling are the rules okay so how you are going to transfer um how you are going to transfer um an adjective into a comparative adjective or into a superlative adjective right but right now just Keep it as a comparative, right? So, lo que nos está pidiendo el manual es los comparativos, okay? So, look at the example right here. That one is cheaper than. Normally, when we use comparatives, we use this expression, right? So, that one is cheaper than, okay? Porque yeah. estoy comparando. Mira, este es más barato que este, ¿verdad? Mira, este es más grande que aquel. Mira, este es más alto que el otro, right? So that is comparative, right? So when we have two teams or three teams or many teams and we are comparing between those words, okay? So this one is nicer than, okay? Normally it says right here that the rule for the comparative it's that we are going to add ER, okay? Esa es la regla que usted debe de tener para los comparativos. Al adjetivo yo le voy a agregar ER, okay? ER. That is like a regular rule, right? So it's not the only one, okay? There are some exceptions, como en toda regla gramatical, por regla general se entiende que le voy a agregar ER. But you will see that there are some exceptions and that's the, what I share with you right here. It says that if we have a, an a, a adjective with just one syllable, we just add the ER. And that is like most of the adjectives, right? But if we have one syllable ending in letter E, so we don't need to add another E, right? So the work, the the the, the adjective it's already with an E. So we just simple add the R, okay? Then the other one it says one syllable, uh, consonant plus vowel plus plus vowel plus consonant, okay? Son esos adjetivos como cortitos, verdad? Big. Okay, sad, hot, okay, bang, eh, consonante, vocal, consonante, okay, so in this ones, we are going to basically double, okay, we are going to double the last um, consonant and then we add the ER, okay, big, bigger, hot, hotter, okay, and the other rule says that uh, two syllables ending in Y, what happened with the adjectives that end with an with a letter Y. We have an example right here, pretty ends with a letter Y. So what we are going to do, we are going to switch, okay? We are going to change the Y into an I and we add the ER, right? So that is the, the example. Uh, let's see the other rule, it says uh, two or more syllables, okay? The adjectives that are bigger, okay? That are the long words, like famous, okay? Aquí jamás me vaya a decir este es el famous, el er, okay? No, ahí no le voy a agregar er, right? So in this case, what we are going to do is add the prefix more, prefijos, sufijos, right? Prefix is the one that va, it's before, right? It's before the work. So, we say um, more famous, okay? So we say more beautiful. Mire, él es más bonito que el otro, right? O este es más este, famoso que Sutano, right? So he is more famous than the other, right? So ahí estoy haciendo el comparativo. Okay, and like in every single situation, we have sections, right? Hay algunos adjetivos que no entran en ninguna de esta clasificación de reglas gramaticales. ¿Qué pasa? 
tengo que aprendérmelos. No hay una fórmula, no hay una regla, no hay una guía. Simplemente me dice que hay unos eh, adjetivos que no tienen comparativo. Ok, El, son como los eh, irregular, right? Los irregular birds donde usted prácticamente tiene que cambiarle todo. Ejemplo, good. El adjetivo good, usted no me puede decir gooder. No, ok, usted me va a decir better. Ok, you know, this one is better than the other one. Ok, you are comparing teams, pero uno es mejor que el otro. Ok, bad, ok. Malo, ok, this is bad, right? So we are going to say this is worse, ok? So eso, como le digo, no lo plantea directamente acá el, el manual así como reglas gramaticales, <coughs> but um, we need to know, ok, how we are going to convert the adjective into a comparative, porque en algún momento usted va a necesitar expresar algo así, no, es que mira, este me gusta más que el otro, mira que eh, José es más inteligente que Juan, lo que sea, right, so, ahí usted va a comparar, so, keep in mind the rules, ok, no es que a todos los adjetivos vengo y les voy a meter una ER, no, hay unas exceptions, ok, so that is what you need to, what you need to, to cover, ok, so, Nice. Uh, let's see what else we have right here. We are going to see the exercise, okay? Based on the on the explanation about comparative themes, we are going to try to complete this conversation, okay? So look at the pictures and uh, we have the, the small conversation, right? So uh, we are going to create the groups, okay? And we will see if we can uh, do it together. So just let me take a screenshot right here. Siempre me gusta uh, share a picture in case if you don't, in case if you don't have the manual, right? Si no tiene ahí el manual, ahí se lo voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. So let me stop sharing and I'm going to uh, create the groups really quick. I will create like three or four only. Okay. And Okay, so uh, let's see, just um, one, two, three. Um, yeah, today it's hotter than yesterday, definitely. No, miren, ahora yo no sé qué ha pasado ahora, pero hoy ha sido un día incredible, okay? O sea, ayer estaba caliente, pero today it's... I don't know. I don't know how you feel and where you are, but where I, I, I am. So, hoy fue un día bien difícil con el clima, right? So, that's good, okay? Freddy Alberto, that is good, okay? That's a good example. So, um, yep, yeah. <laughs> we are going to create the groups, okay? Voy a hacer nada más tres grupos porque yo sé que algunos están ahí de, de oyentes por haber razón. Entonces, si hago el grupo muy pequeño pueda que le toque sin nadie, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente van a ser tres equipos. Ahorita voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp la imagen, si sí. no la tienen ustedes ahí en la mano. So, what we are going to do, try to complete the small conversations using uh, preference, comparing, comparatives, and um, the, 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 the other topic, right? The adjectives, ¿ok? Adjectives, comparisons, and preferences. Ok, eso está claro, right? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Ok, so we have five minutes.
Sorry, I'm not mute. Sorry. So welcome back. Sorry. Um, let's see. Okay. So I would like to mention something. Okay. So no sé si, si, si revisaron en sí el, el grupo de, de WhatsApp, pero eh, nos enviaron una información. Um, si lo vi temprano. So, deje ver. No, no es este grupo. Espérenme, que no sé qué me pasó acá. No, pues no, es en mi otro grupo, sorry. Que mandaron una lista de todos los que de todos los que están pendientes, right? De, de trabajo de plataforma, I guess. Okay, but it's not this group. I have other groups and it's another one. Uh, let's see. Well, forget about it. But anyway, so you know that you need to be working, right? On the platform. Y normalmente ellos revisan y ven ahí quién sí, quién no, quién va al día, quién es atrasado. Entonces, Usted ya sabe que lo que usted debe de hacer es eh, trabajar en la plataforma, ir al día, si es posible, un poquito adelantadito de lo que le están pidiendo para evitar eso de que, mire, usted no ha trabajado, right? Ahí so, está section five, teacher. Um, this week, this week legalmente le van a pedir la sección 4 y le van a pedir el 50% de la sección 5. Usted uh -huh. la hace toda, okay. está bien, ¿verdad? Todas sí. las cinco, pero sí, la mitad sí. está bien, en sí. teoría. Section 5, ahí está. Ok, ok. Bueno, so let's see. I see that you have it in the chat, ahí lo mandaron. Ok, that's good, ok. But let's see. Uh, Carlos Adolfo, number one, letter eight. And Daniela Mercedes, the B letter B, please go ahead. Um, which dress is prettier, prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than polyester. There you go. So, comparatives, right? Comparatives. Aquí la regla es la que está usted aplicando, right? Para hacer el comparativo. Okay, so let's see the next one. Uh, Freddy in number two, letter eight. And let's see, um, Janessi Alexandra, B, letter B, please. Is this blue teacher larger, the red and white one? No, the red one, the red and white one is bigger. It's a medium, the blue it's one a, is a small. A uh -huh. yes, yes. Okay, so I continue, Janice. Okay, it's a medium, the blue one is a small. Okay, so comparatives, right? So the rules, okay? Ahí le mandé como le vieron una imagen, ahí está la regla que usted le va a aplicar a los adjectives, right? So let's see, number uh, three, um, Anna Christie, please uh, be letter eight. Um, um, Jorge Mauricio, letter B, please. The cual de la... Number three. Mm -hmm. This one about the, the pants. Okay. Um, eh, en el caso mío sería de la uno en la letra B. Letter number three. Number three, letter eight. And... Um, Mauricio, it's eh, letter B. Okay. okay. Letter, letter A, three. Number three, letter A. Look at these pants. Which one do you like uh, better, better than? Better okay. than. Look at these pants, right? Which ones uh, do you like better? Okay. Uh-huh, Mauricio. 
I prefer the green cotton ones. They're than sealish the wool ones. Okay, so stylish. Este sería el adjective, right? So, ¿cómo hago el comparativo de este ad adjective? Stylish. Uh, more. Okay, more stylish than, uh, than the wood one, okay? Nice, okay, remember, prefer. No me digan prefer, okay? I preferred, okay? I preferred, okay? So, we have more, uh, more um, um, activities right here about comparatives, but we will do it a little bit different, okay? We have also right here some uh, useful expressions, okay? So the color is prettier, the design is nicer, the style is more attractive, the material is better, okay? So remember when we are doing comparative, so that's what we are, in this case it's Everything about clothes, right? So, porque ropa es lo que está viendo, pero no estamos diciendo que solo ropa es lo que usted puede comparar, right? Usted puede compare whatever you want, right? But in this case, they are comparing and giving us examples about clothes, okay? So, let's see. Uh, comparing prices, okay? Did you remember that yesterday we were mentioned how we can read, right? Different prices, okay? So, this will be as a homework, okay? Ya no nos va a dar el tiempo, pero lo vamos a hacer quizás de tarea y lo podemos empezar a ver mañana, right? So it says writing, okay? Comparing prices, okay? So we have this table right here and uh, we have different items. We have a newspaper, a cup of coffee, a ziti, and a paperback book, okay? So... Look at the example. Many things are more expensive in my country than in the United States. For example, a newspaper costs one dollar at home. In the U.S., it's cheaper. It's only uh, seventy-five cents. A cup of coffee costs. Okay. So comparings. Okay, you are comparing uh, the prices. Okay, in my country, it says right here in the U.S. For example, a newspaper. It says right here. No sé de qué año será este libro, pero en aquel momento de este libro, a newspaper was in the U.S. 75 cents. Okay, so how much is the newspaper in El Salvador? 50 cents. 50. 50 cents. 50 cents, right? Antes era más caro, right? So, but now with uh, the, uh, the new one, the new newspaper, El Salvador, I guess that's the name, that it's just 25 cents. So they decrease, right, the price for La Prensa, El Diario, because I remember that they were like 60 cents or 65, no sé, algo así, algo a costar, right? So now it's 50 cents, but we have a newspaper for 25 cents, right, in, in El Salvador. But in the U.S. it says 20 cents. It's the same as the El mundo. I guess el mundo. El mundo el faro. El faro. Okay. So they are 25 cents, yo creo. No sé, yo casi no compro eso de periódico, pero, pero I know that we have a 25 cents newspaper in El Salvador. A cup of coffee. So that will depend, right? So how much it is, Luis Miguel, a cup of coffee in El Salvador? Uh depends on the mm -hmm. brand mm -hmm. Definitely. For, example, where you purchase, right? for me 20 25 cents yeah 25 cents <laughs> salvador del mundo and but, yeah but if you want to buy a starbucks coffee you need to or pay dollar <laughs> uh-huh yeah. definitely if you go starbucks okay so if you go starbucks it is almost we have a, a cup, uh, we have a coffee in a Starbucks that it's almost 10 bucks. Casi los 10 pesos le sacan por un cafecito, right? Yeah. So, yeah, no, because... it's not for the coffee, it's for experience. Ah, okay, sorry, excuse me, okay, fancy <laughs> people, right? So, every time that you get a Starbucks that you 
purchase an, extra, an Starbucks coffee, right? Usted tiene que andar el vaso todo el día, aunque ya no ande nada, right? So, tiene que andarlo porque es, es lo que usted ha pagado, right? Yes. So, the brand, the style. <laughs> Con agüita de chorro se va. Sí, pues sí, ahí <laughs> le va mezclando, ya al final agua anda, pero usted <laughs> tiene que andar el vaso porque, porque le ponen su nombre, right? So, your name is there, so you have to... Uh, show everyone that you have money, right? And you got a coffee cup for Starbucks. Okay, but if you go downtown, okay, usted va donde los Salvadorians, people, 100% Salvadorians. So, creo que ya no hay de acora, right? So, we have, we don't have 25 cents, no sé. Yes, so, I, todavía existe. Cents, I, I know some places. En Salvador del 20. Mundo, de allá. 25 cents todavía. Sí. Sí. Ok, yeah. so hay que ir ahí entonces para que Chocolate. el cup of sure. coffee, 25 cents, because now they say like 35, 40 cents por un vasito de café, right? So, a CD, oh my goodness, that is duper, duper expensive, right? Because in the US, they are original ones, right? Downtown, you can get like two por el dollar, right? So, two Dos por, por el dollar. <laughs> Okay, so a CD, but nowadays we don't really see, like, you know, like years, a couple of years ago, you went to downtown and you wear CDs piratas everywhere, right? Did you remember? Todos los puestos eran tapizados de CDs y películas y todo eso. Nowadays, no, right? Do you know why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué pasó eso? In the town of San Salvador, yes. Let's continue that situation. But not the magnitude that we have it before. Hasta cuesta esta pregunta, mm -hmm. mire a dónde venden CDs, right? Because I remember like years ago, donde caminara estaba tapizado de CDs piratas, right? <laughs> but nowadays it's not that big. Do you know why? Se tiene que guiar por el, el oído. Mm -hmm. Solo okay. con películas garantizadas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Del mismo ponen todos, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess because a lot of people, no me acuerdo si fue que agarraron un montón, ¿verdad? Porque eso es illegal, right? So yes. it's not legal. So, se lo, ya hasta que los empezaron a meter presos, dejaron de vender eh, los, los piratas, right? Well. Anyway, that is something else, right? So a paperback book. How much it costs a paperback book in El Salvador? That would depend also, right? The type of how many pages it has, the the cover, right? But it says seven dollars ninety five cents. So probably the same in El, in El Salvador, right? Usted quiere un buen eh, libro, okay? Un, Libro decente, creo que vale aún más, right? Well, so, as a homework, ya no nos va a dar el tiempo, ok? So, usted, as a homework, si pueden, mándenlo ahí en el grupito en el WhatsApp. Usted va a hacer una, un comparison, ok? Puede ser something else, ok? The example right here says newspaper and blah, blah, blah. But you can compare any product, ok? Price him from... I don't know, food, for example, fast food, okay? I don't know if you know prices. Like, um, oh, well, what we can compare in El Salvador is the food, right? If you go downtown, you can get a lunch food for $3.50, $3, I don't know. But if you go to a restaurant, no hay un plato de tres pesos, right? If you go to a restaurant, okay, they are, I don't know, six dollars or ten dollars, depending on the the dish, right? Depending the food, depending the depending the place as well, right? So you can confirm something else, right? Este es el ejemplo que han puesto acá. Pero usted puede comparar otra cosa, okay? Lo que usted quiera. So the thing is that you need to use um you need to use um, adjectives, okay? Use, aplicar la regla que acabamos de ver del comparativo para el adjetivo, okay? So, aha, uh -huh, Luis Miguel shared something in the, in the chat. 
I don't know if you know what is this. Los demás ya vieron el chat, ahí ha mandado algo. Eh, Luis Miguel, do you know what is that? ¿Tiene idea? There you go. Okay, there are the way that we are going to organize. Okay, so en español existe una regla para los adjetivos. Okay. No la respetamos. Usted dice, mire, es que ese carro eh, es verde, es rápido, está bonito, me gusta, es, es caro. ¿So? ¿Cuántos adjetivos mencioné? Like four, right? Like four different adjectives. But we say it at the way that we consider, right? So como yo lo ordeno. In English, there is an order that we have to follow, okay? So this is the order. Okay, this is the order that we need to uh, follow when we are mentioning adjectives. Quiere decir que en inglés, y lo mismo es en español, pero lo ignoramos. Okay, so we need to organize the adjectives. No es que yo voy a decir el adjetivo donde yo quiera decirlo o como yo quiera decirlo, right? So there is an order, okay? Eso no está acá en el manual. Me imagino yo que más adelante usted va a tener que ver esa parte de los adjetivos eh, de una manera más deeply, okay? But thank you, uh, Luis Miguel, because that is extra info, okay? So uh, there is no time for the reading, okay? But we are going to continue tomorrow. We do have class, okay? Eh, es viernes y yo sé que el cuerpo lo sabe, pero hay clase, okay? <laughs> so the same story, right? A ustedes ha sido el grupo que le ha tocado eh, mi modo, venir a la clase y cuando termina la clase usted trate de estar ya listo, ¿verdad? Solo de agarrar la cartera e irse. Porque, ¿verdad? Es, es Friday, right? It's Friday. Pero we have class, ¿ok? So we have class. Normally it's from Monday to Thursday, but because of the vacation, so we are working from Monday to Friday. Así que mañana... Venga, aunque sea de cuerpo presente, no le digo de goma porque no creo, ¿verdad? Pero venga, venga, ¿ok? Después de la clase usted agarra camino para donde usted quiera, pero debe de estar acá porque le va a contar, ¿ok? En el, okay. En el score de la tendas. Okay, Yo camino a la cama, iría, coach. Ok, so me too, me too, pero como aquí uno nunca sabe, ¿verdad? Y eso la gente el día viernes es como que... El viernes de parranda, pero como sea el caso, right? Clase hay. Se quiere ir de parranda, está bien, pero después de la clase. Dígale que los pasen a recoger ahí a las 10 y 10, 10 y cuarto, dígale. Oh, no, perdón, 9, right? 9 y 10. 9 y 10, ya puedes pasar por mí, right? Soy usted, ya está listo mañana, solo de agarrar. <risa> ok, so my goodness, déjeme ver quién, alguien más que haya ingresado aquí en el attendance y que no le hayamos colocado. Flor de María. Jefferson, Alexander. Let's see, Kevin, no viene. Y Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Sara Verónica. Bien, Sara Verónica, Sandra, eh, Kevin, Jefferson, and Flor de María. Okay. So just then they don't have a tent. So then the rest. You do, okay? So thank you for your time and everything and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow oh, at night. Flor de María está conectada. Oh, really? Let's see in the participants. F, F, F. Oh, yeah, Flor de María Sánchez. Pero bueno, no sé, no sé. Le vamos a colocar acá, pero no da señal de alguien, okay? So thank you, Luis Miguel. Appreciate your help. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? We have class tomorrow. Lo siento, pero sé si class, okay? So, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher.